The member for Petrie. Thanks, Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Energy. Will the Minister please update the House on how the government will help bring down electricity prices and how would a different approach to economic management drive up power prices, including in my electorate of Petrie? The Minister for Energy. Members thank, on my you. Left. thank you, Mr Speaker, and I thank the member for Petrie for his question. And he knows that this government has a balanced and sensible approach to providing affordable, reliable electricity to all Australian small businesses and families, including in his electorate of Petrie, Mr Speaker. Now, several weeks ago, I visited the member's home state of Queensland, where I met Curtis and Chelsea, who own a fitness business, Flex. Flex Fitness, uh, that uses a lot of electricity to keep their clients cool. Recently, in Queensland, they saw their electricity bill go from $500 to $2,000 to $2, a quarter, Mr. Speaker, times four, times four. Now, Mr. Speaker, Curtis and Chelsea are paying for Queensland Labor's $2 billion electricity tax, slugging Queenslanders to fix their budget blowout because Mr Speaker because Mr Speaker Labor governments prefer higher electricity prices whereas we on this side of the parliament prefer lower ones now Mr Speaker the big energy companies have been forced to provide a better deal on energy prices thanks to pressure from this government our actions have ensured that half a million Australian families half a million Australian families will be getting a better deal from January 1 AGL, Energy Australia, Origin, Alinta Energy and Lumo Energy, along with others, have heard the government's calls and have cut prices for customers on standing offers by up to 15 per cent or up to $560 per annum for a typical residential customer. Mr. Speaker. Meanwhile, those opposite have announced that they will oppose our big stick legislation before they've even seen it. Before they've even seen it, Mr. Speaker, legislation which will hold the big energy companies to account. Because, Mr. Speaker, because, Mr. Speaker, the big three energy companies have been taking record profits in recent years. In the last four financial years, they grew their profits by $1.15 billion per annum. And I'll remind those opposite that these companies are providing essential services to all Australians and their profits are partly coming through sneaky late payments, price gouging and loyalty taxes. But worse than that, Mr Speaker, those opposite want to impose their reckless 45 per cent emissions reduction target on the entire economy. And they haven't yet explained what that means for farmers, what that means for truckies and tradies. Who are going to be facing new draconian emissions vehicles, uh, vehicle emissions standards, and what it means for manufacturers who have been doing it tough. We stand for lower electricity prices while we keep the lights on. The Leader of the Opposition. Thank you. My question is to the Prime Minister. The government's proposed divestment legislation, which was rejected by the ACCC, been slammed by energy experts, legal experts business experts and economists as putting upward pressure on prices, bad ideologically and unconstitutional, why won't the Prime Minister abandon this discredited legislation and instead work with Labor to deliver the national energy guarantee, which the Prime Minister has previously said will deliver lower power prices? Prime Minister has the call. Mr Speaker, once